Look, if I'm given the opportunity, I hope to, to grab it with both hands, to be honest, um, and stay stay in that position for for the next few years. But like you said, it, it's class to see see Murr over uh, Captain of the Lions. Um, it's great for Ireland, it's great for Munster, and it's, it's great for obviously him and his family as well. So it's a credit to the work he puts in. But uh, yeah, exactly, hoping to put the pressure on him this weekend as well. I just wanted, just in terms of, of chats to the coaches, um, in terms of what you bring to the, the team, what, what have they kind of asked you specifically to kind of bring in terms of, of, of that style and, and knitting the team together? Yeah, obviously they want all all of our scrum halves to be playing playing fast so that we can play to the space, like I said a few minutes ago early. Um, so I think that's about it really. Obviously we're, we're all brought into camp for a specific reason. We all have our point of differences, but... I think it's about being yourself. Um, like the coaches are all always on to us about just being ourselves, whether that's on the field or off the field. Um, so obviously, being myself, I like to play quick. I like to to string out passes. So I think that fits in well with what the coaches want here as well. They all they all want the nines to be playing quick, get our forwards onto the on top of other teams and play to the space early. So hopefully, I can do that. Hi, Craig. How's it going? Um, just wonder what goals did you set yourself for this camp and is it all about just getting minutes on the pitch or are there other ways you measure what a successful camp looks like um i'm not sure uh, really what goals i set coming into the camp obviously you want to get minutes under the belt and learn as much as you can like being in inter international camp obviously everyone judges like thinking that it's the minutes on the field that that's where you learn but being in international camp you're learning every day just being around top quality players top quality management like you're learning off four or five brilliant staff every day on the training field and then obviously the players around you like I've learned a lot a lot off Jamo and obviously Blady as well so it's been great to come in and learn uh, at the end of the season but obviously you want, want minutes on the field as well and hopefully I get that on Saturday and show my hand within a team performance and we get a good win and I hopefully play well. In terms of, of of your dad, obviously the folks were there at the weekend, and obviously he's your 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 first and favorite coach. Um, I mean, he didn't have much to maybe analyze at the weekend, but has he been chatting to you this week, or like is he is he very excitable in terms of like you know texting you, make sure you do this or that, or you know how how is he in terms of of a match week, or do you do you try and keep him away? No, I definitely don't try and keep him away. Obviously, he's been there since rugby week since I was four years of age and he's, he was coaching me up until under 19 so I have a really really like strong rugby relationship with him I'd go to him with with anything I need obviously but obviously he doesn't know what's going on in camp either so he can't tell me what to do with the game plan either so he leaves that to me and, and obviously all the team but obviously he just texts me he's really proud he was he was glad to get into the Aviva the other day and and watch me sing the national anthem for the first time is is what he texts me so it's great to have him there and hopefully he'll be there on Saturday as well.